What's up? This is Tim. We're down here at Soccer Post in Columbia, South Carolina. It's me. We got JT here, the Man of Steel, stretching out the Man City jersey. <laughs> and what we're going to do now is we're going to show you a couple quick soccer tips here. This is called the dive, all right? You've probably seen many professional players do it. But we're going to show you how to do it best so you can implement it into your game. Here we go. I'm a striker. I'm bringing the ball down. JT's a defender. He's coming in. Oh! And what you got to do when you take the dive is you want to grab a muscle. And it doesn't have to be the exact muscle that they actually hit. So I'm going to grab my leg and what you got to do is roll around on the ground and wince like it's hurt so bad even though it doesn't, okay? And then what you do is you stay on the ground until the referee gives you the call. If he doesn't give you the call, you stay on the ground. If he does give you the call, get up, get ready for the next play, okay? Uh, while we're down here, let's take a look at JT shoes. He's got the Addy Zero leathers. These are great for midfielders or forwards, especially ones that like to feel the ball a little bit more. You're going to have a little extra leather around here. It's a little heavier than the uh, just the Addy Zero synthetics, but you're going to have a better touch on the ball. These are the Addy Zero synthetics. They're great. You need a little extra speed. You want less weight on your foot. So go ahead and get these. Remember, when you're getting them for size, don't plan on them to stretch too much, okay? And that's about it. That's a quick tip. Here at Soccer Post, South Carolina, you can get your Addy Zeros down here. Come see us. Thanks.